China has been threatening Canada with hostage diplomacy, but now the tables have turned as with the arrest of four Chinese spies, the US and Canada now have an upper edge over China. The thing about growing tensions between independent states is that it has to be released sooner or later, either in a violent or diffusive way. In the present context, we are witnessing growing tensions between China and the free world led by the US over a peculiar situation, Beijing's primitive methods of arbitrary detention of citizens of other countries in order to gain unfair diplomatic leverage. But now, the US has checkmated China in its own game. The US has arrested four Chinese nationals over visa fraud accusations in a matter of weeks. One such Chinese researcher, identified as Xin Wang, had arrived in the US last year purposively for conducting research at the University of California. Another Chinese national, Chen Song, entered the US for conducting neurological research at Stanford University, while Ke Ke Zhao was a graduate student studying machine learning and artificial intelligence at Indiana University. Xuan Tang, a researcher at the University of California who was allegedly hiding in San Francisco, has also been arrested. All these Chinese researchers are said to have lied about their connections with the Chinese People's Liberation Army when they entered the United States. The US is accusing the PLA officers of masquerading as students while actually stealing American secrets and intellectual property for the Chinese state. Tensions over detentions and arrests have been rising ever since Meng Wanzhou, the Huawei chief financial officer, was arrested in Canada over accusations of secretly evading sanctions on Iran. Currently, an extradition request from the US is pending in the Canadian judiciary, but the matter has already led to soaring tensions between the US and Canada on one side and China on the other. Huawei is an emotive issue for the Chinese Communist Party regime. It is the biggest private company in the communist country, and Meng happens to be the daughter of founder and CEO Ren Zhenfai, who has very close ties with the CCP. This is why Beijing was never going to take the arrest of Meng Wanzhou lying down. Therefore, the CCP resorted to hostage diplomacy and arrested two Canadian nationals, Michael Kovrig, a former diplomat, and Michael Spavor, a businessman in December 2018. Beijing's message has been loud and clear. Release Meng Wanzhou or let the two Michaels die. China is one of the few rogue nations that sponsor kidnappings if relations with the country go downhill, and Beijing is doing this quite openly. Shen Weihua, the European Union bureau chief of the state-owned China Daily newspaper, for example, tweeted, People often fail to note that Meng is worth 10 Kovrig and Spavor, if not more. Meanwhile, an Australian national too was sentenced to death by China last month on smuggling charges, seemingly as a tit-for-tat measure following the Australian backlash against China. Within Canada, anti-China sentiments have been rising. While the US keeps on pushing Canada for extraditing the Huawei executive, Beijing keeps threatening Canada with dire consequences for the two Michaels. For Canada, it was never really an option to escalate tensions any further after arbitrary detentions of its nationals in China, but the US has always had a precedent to go after Chinese spies posing as students. The FBI has been since long warning about the issue of American intellectual property theft by China and the Justice Department too had launched China Initiative campaign in the year 2018 to investigate this issue. Now, with the FBI cracking down and four Chinese nationals in the US getting arrested, the equations have changed upside down. Before Beijing thinks of bullying Canada and the detained Canadian nationals any further, it will be reminded of its own citizens currently in the US. The CCP cannot simply let the issue go because these four people have started hogging the limelight and questions will be asked within China too. A spate of arrests on foreign soil has caused a sense of disorderliness and the soaring tensions will get triggered at some point in time. Most likely, the extradition of Meng Wanzhou to the US will open a can of worms. The Trump administration would want to use it as an opportunity against Huawei and by necessary implication against China too. Ultimately, pressure building up on both sides will have to release. Either China will have to crumble under the weight of the high stakes or it will take some drastically hostile step. 
in either situation. For now, the tables have turned against China and US and Canada have an upper edge.